Hey, thanks, thanks, thanks. It's been a while since you've been up here. It's been a minute, yeah. Well, we're blessed to have you back up here with us oh, thank you for so the much. sermon breakdown. Okay. So today was it was the best way to close out this sermon series, thank in my you. opinion. I think you did an incredible job, and I just want to say that I always appreciate that you are so raw and real. Yeah. You know, you are transparent with us as a church and as a community, and and it resonates, and we appreciate that so much. Well, I, I do find for for me personally. Uh, those sermons that, mm -hmm. that we discussed that, that I've had to live and yes. go through first are sometimes the ones that are the most difficult to present, uh, but sometimes the most powerful because I've lived it. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, and I think that that's how it resonates with us, too, because we're at different stages in life. Like you said, that could have been a different message for individuals today. Right. Um, but one thing I want to deep dive that you had said um, okay. is... You know, we're living in this mental health age, right, where people are more aware, there's more treatment, there's better resources. But in the church sense, you had mentioned conviction versus condemnation. Right. And that's something that I wrote down a couple of things where conviction's more of a truth from God. Right. And yeah. condemnation is where it's a lie of deception. So how can you break that down a little further? Because that's hard to determine sometimes. Sure. Oh, which is which. Absolutely. Um, here's what I find in my own life. Uh, condemnation leaves us feeling like there's no hope, right. that, that there's no change, that, that there's not the ability to get any better, while conviction leads us to that right. change. Um, condemnation wants to keep us where we are yeah. uh, or move or, us backward. Yeah. Okay, that's what yeah. I was going to say, or feel like where, you're moving backwards. Where conviction, um, the, the purpose of conviction is to move us forward right. and to strengthen relationship and, and to to build us up, not break us down. Right, and I love that you said lies of depletion yeah. because that's really how you feel when you're, when you're in the condemnation part. Absolutely. And I think it's confusing because a lot of times in church you are taught about condemnation, right? Mm -hmm. But there's never a, a, been a breakdown that's been great about conviction versus condemnation. So yeah. I appreciate that well, and, today. And, and that spirit of depletion um, is, is such a lie, right. but it is so present. Yeah. Um, you know, I shared a few statistics in, in the sermon today, but, but there were so many that, that just talked about people's inability to function. Yes. Uh, based on the struggles that they have with hopelessness and depression, um, and and to to read and to study Scripture where where our God's a God of abundance, yes. um, and that He's with the brokenhearted um, is something that I think is very very important yes. uh, for people today, and and brings that sense of hope. Yes, and I think that speaking on that was another point that I wrote down yeah. as you were talking. I took so many notes today, is that um, you had talked about a relationship with God, and mm -hmm. that's what gives us hope. And I think what we all need reminders of. Is is that he's always there. Yeah. Like, it's not like he's just going to walk off from us during a hard season in our life. Mm -hmm. He's not human. He's ever present. Yeah. Right? And, well, and, and I think it's, it's a, a firm understanding of a healthy relationship. Yes. You know, we live in a time and in a culture where so many people um, don't have a firm understanding of a healthy relationship. Yeah, that is very you know, true. <laughs> relationships a lot of times are perverted into what I can get from somebody. Yes. Or... Or on the other end, I'm always giving to somebody, yes, right? Yeah. Um, but a relationship with Christ is reciprocal. It, yes. it, is, it is giving, it is receiving, um, but it's an openness um, to understand um, when that needs to happen, yeah. you know, when we yeah. need to give, when we need to receive. And, and it's also just that conversation, uh, that conversation piece. A lot of times prayer is a one-way thing, yeah. um, whereas I believe he desires uh, communication. A conversation. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I, I know I've said this before, like I am in my car and I swear people think I'm crazy going down the road because that's my time with yeah, God. Sure. Yeah. You know, it's usually very uninterrupted. You know, mm -hmm. once my children are dropped off and I'm sitting there looking like I'm talking to myself, <laughs> um, but really I'm talking to God and everybody else just needs to mind their business. I got it. So yeah. I feel like that, you know, when people get more comfortable mm -hmm. in those kinds of conversations, sure. it opens you up a little bit to what right. God has to say. He may not speak to you directly, mm -hmm. which would be terrifying, honestly, right. a yeah. big God voice talking yeah. back. But it's, it's the little things that he shows you throughout mm -hmm. life. Um, but you had talked about um, submission and resistance. And I had made a comment that stood out with me in my life that someone had told me is that um, we need to be aware when we have seasons of depression. Mm -hmm. But being aware does not mean we have to wear it. Like, oh, it's not who great. we are. Yeah, maybe I'll steal that for second service. You, you go, yeah. Listen, <laughs> yeah. everybody just take my ideas. It's that fine. was great. But yeah, instead yeah. of wearing it, we're aware of it. So yeah. the difference in that, it allows us to to submit it. Mm -hmm. When you're aware and you, you are honestly aware, you can be like, okay, God, 
here's where I'm at. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to trust you. That's how I've been in my life to yeah. get through this situation. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that the submission mm -hmm. is going into resisting. The devil yeah. is hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and I will tell you that awareness is such a key piece. Um, because I think we talked about that stigma yes. a little bit. Yes. Um, you know, awareness and and conversation with God is is good, mm -hmm. and it truly is the main thing. Yeah. Um, but we need help sometimes, and, and there's there's no shame no. in 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 being aware of that mm -hmm. and and being self aware enough to ask for that help. Yes. Um, to to you know kind of use the resources. I, I would encourage people to uh, to be um, very very mindful of the resources that, yes. that they take advantage of. Um, but there's no shame in those resources. They're they're actually so very helpful as we struggle yes. with those things in our lives. Yeah, and I mentioned it last week. I, yeah. I speak to a Christian counselor. Yeah. So I and I think it's important to surround yourself with the right types Absolutely. of people. Do your research, talk mm -hmm. to other people. Um, and before we leave, I just really felt on my heart, Trey, that we should remind people that, you know, here at Victory Hill, we say they don't do life alone, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. You know, we speak on that all the time. We have small groups, we have this, we have that. But the biggest thing, especially for our online family or those who may just watch us throughout the week, that digital connect card oh, yeah. is live. Mm -hmm. It is live. It is not just on there on Sundays. Yeah. We, I mean, and they can submit prayer requests or anything. If you are feeling alone and you just want prayer, that's a place that you already immediately have a community yeah. that's going to be praying for you. Absolutely. Yeah. I, um, as I studied, I, I went back to... Uh, the scripture where the man's friends took him to the house yes. where Jesus was yep. uh, and they removed the roof to, to lower him down. Sometimes those connections are so important because people sometimes need to carry us when we can't yes. carry ourselves. Yeah, and right? you can do that for someone. Exactly. And and so that's the purpose of that yeah. connect card, you know, for us to have the ability to maybe help and to carry yeah. Yeah, uh, and and to pray for and to encourage you in any kind of struggle that you're going through. Yeah, and that's that, and that's we live what we say here at Victory Absolutely, Hill. Absolutely, yeah. And we really appreciate our online family, our in church family, and we appreciate our pastor teams for breaking yeah. this stuff down for us and being honest about the real world and how that should relate in our relationship with God. Absolutely. So yeah, good we stuff. are very grateful for well, you. Thank you. Thank you. And we will look forward to seeing everybody next week for a new uh, sermon series. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. You guys do not want to miss it, Pastor Chad, next week. Yes. Uh, Phenomenal. It's going to be great. We'll All see right. you guys then. See you guys.